10. Welcome back. You're still right here with us on the hashtag Why in the Morning. Why 244 channel, everyone, all social. My, personally, mine is at Brian Sokono one. And this is the last conversation of the day. And right up, in the spirit of back to school, go pets pushing on their side, not on their side. And then uh, the school uh, university funding model as well, the, the high learning uh, funding model as well, and so many other conversations. I remember in our introduction right here, we talked about the bonding. And you know, uh, yesterday, the president uh, held a town hall session where they are trying to actually uh, break it down. Is it worth it? I remember from one of the sentiments that was shared with the students, he said perhaps they need to go back to the other model and maybe make do some little of facelift from one, two, three uh, places and then instead of like, you know, uh, implementing this one that was a little bit instantaneous. And then somebody also said, perhaps they should have done some sort of like some autopilot, like let's do a pilot model first, see if it works. And then you can finally go ahead and implement it. And then there's a story about uh, public participation and so much more. But you know what? This is the conversation we are delving deeper into it. And I'm being joined live in the studio by Juma Naguno. He's a student as well from the University of Nairobi, alongside Rama Juma, who's been here as well, a student leader at the University of Nairobi. Karibu sana. Thank you. Let me start off by you, uh, uh, Naguno. Since both of you are Juma, you yes. have Juma on your name, so <coughs> let me use uh, Naguno. Uh, what did you understand by the stories yesterday that the president, you know, was trying to actually demystify? Do you believe that we should go to the uh, previous funding model first and maybe work on some th two, three misses, let's say the hits and misses of it, polish it up before we start thinking of, of another model? Yeah, sure. I uh -huh. think uh, the best method it's we go back to the old uh, method because uh, this one, okay, it's it's good by saying, but not by actions. You understand? Mm -hmm. When I say by actions, you will see that. Uh, of course, yes, it will it will it it will be it will be good, whereby uh, it will it will it will affect us as, as students. Uh, by maybe getting a lot of uh, uh, economic impact. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by saying uh, economic impact? You see, we we'll get a lot of debt. Zenye sisa tutaweza kulipa after tume mariza. Yeah. So is it advantage? Because I, I thought it should be vice versa. Yeah. Where you're getting more money mm -hmm. to enable your stay and sustainability in, in the learning institution yeah. as compared to the other one. Uh, uh, maybe perhaps you, from your understanding, the previous one and this one, what are the differences that you would like to put on the table? Uh, I like to put the previous one, not this one, because this one you gonna piri piri mingi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meaning? Ni mingi ni mingi, but at the end, it had to cost CC. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I can say. Okay, Rama, from your general perspective, I understand that the University of Nairobi, you guys are so energetic, like your energy is a thousand on top here. Yeah? And uh, uh, in the spirit of your, also, is he back by the way? Madzayo, your student leader. Yeah. He's back. All right, okay. <laughs> But that aside, uh, when it comes to uh, trying to decipher the previous model and this one, what are the hits and misses that you'd like to put on the table before we even get first to the disadvantages of it and if at all we can go ahead with it or not? Because the money part is usually the most vocal part because I understand even last year, I think, uh, there was a delay in disbursement. I think even in the last couple of three months, disbursements for uh, the loans that should have you know, enabled students to stay in higher learning institution is usually delayed. But this one, again, it's, it seems like it's giving you more, but you guys don't want the more, you want the less. But then you're you telling me of the air, you know, instead of like the loan taking care of your upkeep, it's now like paying for school fees. So there's a little bit of a mix up and confusion. You know, if, if I borrow from the yesterday's discussion from the president, mm -hmm. you'll realize the president is very firm, yeah. rigid, and tyrannical. Mm -hmm. To an extent, it is an open discussion where we need to share ideas and come up with a conclusion. But the president here to persuade us to accept the model. Mm -hmm. I think that was the shift of the discussion. From a discussion where we have to discuss, look at the demerits of this new model. How can we reshuffle it or yeah. reconstruct it to a way that fits everyone in the society? 
Yeah. The president is here to persuade us mm -hmm. to accept that this thing is not working when we are really telling him it's not working. Yeah. And I appreciate the students leader who are there and mm -hmm. we are very proud of them. And they told him in the eyes, this thing is what? It's, it's not, not working. working. Uh -huh. And one thing we need to make clear, mm -hmm. the new funding model is a burden to the people of Kenya. And if you continue with, with it, mm. it's going to kill the education in this country. So what's the issue? Is the issue with the bonding or the issue of the money allocated or the criteria for location? Because there's somebody who's also, who's also arguing, how do you determine a needy and extremely needy and then now super needy and then like now this one can't do nothing to get to the institution? Is it the criterion or the allocation? You know, we, we have three entities here. Mm -hmm. First entity is COOPS. Yes. COOPS have, like, has placed you to the university, it is done with you. Yes. Then there is yeah. university fund. Mm -hmm. Then there is HELP. Yes. So these are the three entities that are involved. And then they have come up to the system, they call it MTI, means translation instrument. So mm -hmm. the MTI, they say, now me as a student, oh. I should have finished my form 4, I'm placed to the University of Nairobi by COPS. Mm -hmm. Then I have to go to, to the HEF website, mm -hmm. apply for the scholarship. I have to upload my documents. So they say, the documents and the way I'm going to answer the questionnaires on that website, the MTI system is going to detect. To determine now. The, the MTI location. system is going to determine uh -huh. if from the evidence provided, if I'm going to fall into band, band one, one or two, five. Uh -huh. Three, four, or five. Mm -hmm. So maybe I, I, I'm not yet personally try to check, but I'll check uh, hereafter. Uh, what are some of the questions that you're supposed to answer? And also understand there's a place where you upload a document to prove uh, is this status of employment or profession? Yeah. So occupation. Right? On, on the yeah. system, there's a place like uh, if if there's a place they ask if we are both parents are alive, if okay. both of them are deceased or one of them is deceased. You have to upload what uh, a burial permit. Mm -hmm. you know? Or death certificate. If you are living with yes, if you are living with disability, they have their disability card. You have to upload that. Mm -hmm. But then the question comes on the criteria now they're going to use mm -hmm. because if you look at the allocation that was done, mm -hmm. out of one hundred percent of the students who applied, okay. only twelve percent were placed in band one. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kenya is, is Band One the most uh, yes Band One is band. the most for the most vulnerable one. Okay. Then put in your mind the economic conditions we have in the, in this country. Mm -hmm. Kenya is one of the developing countries. We are living. Most of the families are living below the the index yes. of the the, the poverty line the poverty index line, demarcated yeah. by the United Nations. Mm -hmm. So you realize if this means if this reflects the reality on the ground, I think the system is wrong. 12% out of the entire population, mm. there's a problem somewhere. Yeah, I'm seeing here uh, an update of it. Band one, your, your, government, your government scholarship is of 70%, and then you're entitled to a loan of 25%, and then your family 5%, and then your upkeep is uh, in 60,000 cash. Yeah, that's for band one. You've said that is for the most vulnerable, for vulnerable yes. or very, very needy. And then band two, 60%, uh, government will cater for your scholarship of that one. Your loan is 30%, and then family will cater for 10% of that, and then you receive an upkeep of 55,000. Just like 5K, minus 5K, I believe, from bottle yep. till the, the last band. Band three, 50%, 30% loan, uh, family will cater for 20%, then you get an upkeep of 50,000 Kenya shillings. Band four, 40%. 30% uh, loan, family cater for 30% still, and then you get an upkeep of 45%. And lastly, band five is the government will cater for 30% of your scholarship. Still, you still get a 30% loan, and then your family will cater for 40% of that, and then your upkeep is 40,000 Kenya shillings. So uh, from band five, meaning that at least you have the capacity to sustain yourself. But then, how do you how do you determine the the honesty and transparency in application? For these bonds, if now, I get to you, yeah, I think if I put my ideas right, uh -huh. that's the major problem we have with the model, because mm -hmm. yes, we have uploaded documents. 
He says the parents are employed. My parents are employed. They're earning this amount. They're earning this amount. Yeah. But then you realize we almost share a similar background. Mm -hmm. But you are later divided into different bands. Yeah. Is the system really favoring both parties? Yeah. And that is the MTIS. The, that, that's the system I'm telling you, the MTM. Okay. Um, MTM. Yeah. MTI. That's MTI, the system. Yeah. Yes, that's the system mm -hmm. that is classifying these people into these bands okay. after going through your documents. Right. And then I want to give a personal like, example. Mm -hmm. We have been doing admission at the university last week. Mm -hmm. And in our faculty, which is the largest faculty in the university, we admitted approximately 4,000 students into the faculty. Mm -hmm. Out of the 4,000 students, Less than 200 are, are placed in band one. Yeah. Band two and three are countable. Mm -hmm. The majority are placed in band four and five. And five. Mm -hmm. Who learns in public universities? Mm. That's a good question. Was that question asked yesterday in the town hall session? <laughs> I think they missed that aspect. Uh -huh. Most of the Students with very humble background mm -hmm. find themselves in public universities. Yes. Yeah. If you put the majority of them in band four and five, you're mm -hmm. killing their dreams. Yeah. Literally. And if you want to, to kill a country, just kill education. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. So if the president is planning to kill a country, he should mm -hmm. tell he should tell us we prepare. Yeah, and that's why you guys were up in arms over the weekend. Yeah, of course, we are very ready, and the thing is, we are ready like we have never been ready. Ready for Tuesday. We are very ready, <laughs> and very ready, and very ready. I want to tell you, to make this clear. So, we I'm had a discussion. I'm coming to you. We had a discussion. <laughs> let me hear, let me hear. Okay. Hold, hold your horse so that I also hear his sentiments, and then we'll come back, you'll tell us how we are ready for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, from your university, what have you learned? What are the conversations that you guys are talking about? You're from KU, yeah? Yes. He's talking about how they are up in arms and they are trying to even break it down. They are saying, you know what, please, let, let's switch to the other one because at this point, this, this one is not going to be a success. But then I thought even yesterday the president hosting that town hall session, it's going to calm the temperatures down, but I'm shocked Rama is saying they're ready for Tuesday, you know. So what are the conversations that you guys are, are talking about regarding this model at KU, the hits and the misses? Uh, we as a student from KU, we want the previous model. We don't want anything. Mm -hmm. uh, as per se, yesterday, we were having some of, some of our leaders from Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. Even our president was given a chance to speak, but he That's didn't. That's Bonaya. Yeah, he didn't speak anything. Oh, Bonaya is your president. Yeah, yeah. he didn't speak okay. anything. Okay. That, that man is he's just a, a content creator. So you're throwing digs at your president? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and when here. you are given a chance, <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, to speak in front of the president. You know, the president is the commander mm -hmm. of the army force. Uh -huh. So you, you are supposed to, to give him, you okay. just inject him the, 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 what comrades need, need, needs. So what do you think are the issues he failed to put across to the president? He didn't because he, the other guys were really vocal. There's even people who took that time to explain their own you know, you needs. Know, yeah. uh, that's why with those people, I can uh -huh. say, even Ramka can agree, most student readers, they are puppets. Okay. So when Meaning they are... that? Puppet. Uh -huh. They, uh, I mean that they represent uh, the uh, their grievances of uh, the readers. They are, they are given something, they go there, they, 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 don't, they, they don't present us. You understand? Okay. So when they, they know that I'm vocal or this, this, this man is vocal, this Rama is vocal, conversation you understand okay they will the same so me i'm the current most influential student in Kenyatta university always in ambia twende bona nita out shine so that nikienda mimi nita present wanafunzi kitu wanataka kusikia you understand so ndio maana unapata when you walienda huko hakuna udisikia kitu yote kenya Kenyatta university liongea I heard from Bonaya saying something. You know, See, he mentioned. I want to make two jokes. Okay. Other than we will seek genuine chemo. At least, yeah, it ended up with bonga sense. Yeah. So, University of Nairobi, you guys did not have a rep yesterday. They were there. Cowards. <laughs> okay, I will get to that. I continue. 
Yeah, so uh, I think kitu yetu tunafaa kusikil the president anafaa kutusikiliza. Aha. Unajua yeye ashashiba. I don't is from UN Sindio. Yeah. Is that how UN muna muna mkishashiba muna react? <laughs> I respond to you. Bro. Because you see tunamwambia we just tunamwambia fanya hivi, fanya hivi. Uh-huh. Yeye anaona I can bring that uh, mm. a, a new funding model ita yeah. ita tusaidia but yeah. deep down you understand the comrades mm. si ndio mm. tukipatiwa hizo hizo pesa mm. kuna wale tutafurahi mm. but back then after uh, atujiven tutalipa you mm. understand atujiven yeye na, na, na story na bonding yeah. uh, KU yeah, uh, on a semaj cuz yeah amesema hiyo watu wengi nyumba iko kwa first band yeah maybe hata kuna wenye wanafua kwa hapo na kuna wenye hawako but they're supposed to be there but they've been placed in the other bands yeah they probably will render them at you know crisis when it comes for them to find sustainability in the institution sure so uh, stone band unajua sasa uwezi jua mimi tuseme eh, tume nini na wewe tumemaliza shule na wewe si ndio tumeweka tumeweka the same uh, tunafaa kuingia the same uh, university so maybe mimi ninajiweza ina kwetu wewe ujiwezi you understand so ukitu, ukituchanganya itakuwa inatusaidia yeah. yeah so uliko nataka kama ungeko kwa hiyo meeting ya jana ya yeah. town hall ni vitu gani ungesema zenye wanafao zirejele kama kuna vipi kuna mashapengele frank to go with this because from what from the look is yeah. that they are going to implement this model yeah I don't see unless you guys will go to the street like you're no, saying and you know, reformat it by yeah. saying uh, well, they are going to implement that model mm-hmm. we won't allow that because we have god and we have numbers mm-hmm. so what do i mean we have god and we have numbers to tend to street okay na but yesterday uh, you guys had a chance but let's go back to the question what are some of the things that you you wanna fuzz come if i told they'll have to implement it then was it turned down uh mimi mi narejelea like kama wanataka kwenda nayo waende na the previous like vipengele frani za previous ndio zikuwe hapo ndani mm-hmm. na masharti mengine waondoe mm-hmm. yeah hiyo ndio naweza sema tu okay because ni mzigo mm-hmm. kwa kwetu kwa sababu kama today uh, some students from Kenyatta University wenye wanafaa kuingia wanaendelea kuingia yeah. na last week on monday from UN walikuwa wanaingia si ndio mm-hmm. nili have a chat with some Uh, you know alikuwa kiongozi wa University of Nairobi and it was once general yakaniambia mm. parents were crying yeah. about this funding model kila kama wanalia na sisi ndio tunafaa kwa increased the school fees that the parents should pay because i've just read to you the update here yeah? from the percentage i think from band 3 yes. it's consistent is 30% here yeah? sure to the last band here yeah yeah, yeah kuna venye may increase mm. yeah okay uh, rama uh, why should you guys go to the street anyways but anyway there's a lot of reasons <laughs> i don't want to tap into that energy of activism <laughs> but yeah if if at all they are going with this uh, funding model maybe what could be the from a far fetched point of view usema sasa perhaps maybe we could hear 2020 20 close 12 and then tunaza partially accept it but anyways it's hard pinching it's evident even from what i've read to you yeah and that mti uh, criterion of allocation yeah? yeah it's a little bit not considerate yeah. and then also the genuinity of trying to find you know does rama really need band 1 is he really band 3 does he deserve to be there yeah so if i give you an example from our faculty mm-hmm. when i was joining i was we were being given a common fee structure yeah that is across all across the courses the uniform yeah uniform fee structure okay. 28500 mm-hmm. How much? 28,500. There's a full academic year. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter the course. It doesn't matter the course. Okay. There's a full academic year. Mm-hmm. Then they came 2021. They hiked the fees to 56,000. Mm-hmm. As we are speaking, the if I give I'll share a copy maybe after the the discussion. Yeah, I'll sure, share a copy sure. of the fee structure now. Mm-hmm. Faculty of Arts for you to pursue bachelor of arts in economics mm-hmm. you have to pay 223000 mm-hmm. so, so now academic year yes now for now 
now bring in those percentages from the government, the scholarship, yeah. uh, the loan, and then the household. So you realize somebody placed in band one is going to pay around 25,000. Around 26,000. Yes. Somebody. Per semester, that is now. Yes, per uh -huh. semester. Mm -hmm. Somebody placed in band five is going to pay 70,000 yes. per semester. Mm -hmm. So we're talking of a burden of 140,000 per academic year. From 18 mm -hmm. to 26. Mm -hmm. Where are we going to? And then it means, that's why I'm saying, we're not taking this war personal as the current students because they, whatever they always do, they always make sure the new model does not affect those continuing students. So for yeah. us, it's not affecting us. Oh, oh, for the continuing, continuing student, you guys It's not affecting us. Mm. Okay. But there's one, one thing clear in the mind. Mm. The fees moved from 28,000 to? Went to 56,000. Mm. We're at 223,000. Yeah. Uh, what about the help in between? The help adjustments, the number is, is, is it still consistent for the continuing? It's co constant. It's constant, yeah? Yes, okay. constant. Uh -huh. So it is a clear thing. Mm -hmm. Our next generation, mm -hmm. education will be for millionaires. Yeah. Our next generation, education will be for millionaires. Mm -hmm. And we're not ready for that. Mm -hmm. That's what we're saying, and we're we are repeating to say this. We had a dialogue in Naivasha, they mentioned that to the president. Yeah. We had a dialogue in Kise, they mentioned that to the president. Yeah. We had a dialogue in Kenya School of Government, they mentioned that to the president. The yeah. president again organized another dialogue behind the curtains at the state house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then after the outcry of what they discussed, he now yeah. comes clearly to have a town hall. Yeah, because they saw an update that, that said uh, student leaders were invited to state house. Yeah. Yes. Just between Thursday, Friday, in between. The, yep. those it was on Thursday. On Thursday. Last week. Yes, yep. last week. Yeah? Yep. And then uh, after some time, your student leader got abducted. Eh? Yep. It became dramatic. But then they're saying it's because he was not agreeing with the funding model. But um, Rama tried to make me understand here. In Banduan, your loan is 25%. Yep. Is, this, is this what they're giving you as sustainability? Is this what they're giving you as relief on your uh, higher learning loan? Am I this the percentage that they're locating you? 25% loan, mm -hmm. that money is both for your upkeep. 25% uh -huh. is both for your upkeep okay. and catering the, the main part yeah. mm -hmm. of the school fees. All right. In a normal routine, Okay. The help that we are normally given, you realize some of us come from very humble, totally humble background. Mm -hmm. So you realize the, the, the small amount you have gotten from help, you have to finish anyway. up your school fees so as you remain with something to use within the city. Yeah. yeah. For your upkeep. Yeah. For your upkeep, of course. Yeah. But, but now, then they are giving you 60,000 uh, of that. that is, that's the whole amount from that whole only. Really. One thing, Mr. Sako, you need to know. Uh -huh. As I started by saying, education had initially been subsidized. Yes. And one thing the president is not ready to come out clear and say, mm -hmm. he's implementing the IMF principles. First rule of IMF, we have what you call the structural adjustment programs. Okay. And they started imposing them to developing countries in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. One of them is what they're really pushing up to now, uh -huh. reducing the number of public servants. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you will realize that's one of the reasons we genuinely went on the street and said no to, f to finance, bill. finance bill 2024. Yeah. Because, number one, they, have say, they had said mm -hmm. the country, the public service is not going to employ anyone for the next one year. Mm -hmm. Number two, the principals now they're bringing into schools, they have to reduce the number of staff. Yeah. Is it to cut down on the cost? Yes. The, because the, the yes. state doesn't have money. That's the thing. The state does not have money. Yeah. And they have to cut down the, the, the cost spent on salaries. So they have reduced the number of staffs in the universities. You, you go around the universities, universities are totally understaffed. I can confess that. From lecturers to even From other staff. From lecturers to other staff. Okay. I can attest to that. Uh -huh. Number four, they are removing subsidies from education. 
-hmm. That's the thing the president is not coming out clear on it. They are removing subsidy on education. Education was subsidized at that time. You realize, compare from the time of Moi up to now, mm. like there's something accruing on top of it. Mm. So the president should just come out clearly and say, IMF have told me to remove the subsidies <laughs> on education. <laughs> so as you people pay a lot, we, we, we take our money and pay their debts. That's another thing. Because one of the outcry about the finance bill 2024 was the increased tax. Yeah. Because IMF went back their money. So this is a, a situation where the country is borrowing, mm -hmm. loaning me. Uh -huh. So it means two of us are debtors. The country is a debtor to IMF. I'm a debtor to, to the government. Yeah. So one thing should come out clear, mm -hmm. that you want to live a free life. Yeah. Because for him, he's saying nobody's going to hunt you to repay back the loan. <coughs> when you're not employed. Yeah. But why are you giving me the loan when you're sure I'm not going to get a job? Yeah. What is the unemployment sure. rate in the country? Yeah. Yeah. There's no way you're going to loan somebody yeah. and you're sure this person is not going to get the job yeah. and repay back the loan. Yeah. In, this, in, in, in some of these developing countries, right. immediately you get out of the university, the government has to make sure you are somewhere. Mm. Constructive. Like it's guaranteed. It is guaranteed get, after yeah. university because they know you, you have their money. They have to get ways on how you will return their money. The money. But here we are in a, a country that cares about nothing. <laughs> Graduate, whatever you do is none of their business. But they say, just take the loan. So long as you're learned, <coughs> you know the one time you'll repay. Yeah. Who will repay that money? Mm. Let me jump on to you, Mr. Naguno. Yes. Do you believe that after, after you've been given that money, for mm. example, yeah, uh, they're saying, you know, the, 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 in fact, the president started, as he, did he call it the digital super, something highway, yeah? Mm. They're saying it's going to give, in fact, they're saying it has already given young people opportunities to tap into that space so that you <coughs> make money, create opportunities, get jobs, and, and the rest. Do you believe after you're done with college, mm. uh, university as well, because you're at KU, yeah. you're, you're guaranteed to enroll into that program? And I don't know if you've also been surviving on loans yourself. Have you, did you apply for the higher education loan spot? Yeah, because you know me, I joined with uh, Equit, the Equit Wings, Wings to Fry. Okay. So, so it has catered for uh, part it's, of it's, the... It's like well, the, the way Lama was saying that uh -huh. other countries you are guaranteed. Uh -huh. So like Equit uh -huh. Wings to Fry, they will make sure that you maybe you do economics or you do what. Uh -huh. Then you understand you, you owe their money mm. but that's some sort of like a scholarship right yeah sure so they're not like uh, they're telling you I'm taking you to school so that you come back and pay but the mostly they will, they will advise you to do economics or business uh -huh. so that you go back to, to work for them okay but at least for them, they're giving you that opportunity. Yeah, it, and I've also had success stories of how you, know, yeah, sure, they, sure. you are schooled and then they, they employed you. Yeah, sure, they sure. gave you a job. Yeah. And so it's not like, you know, like uh, help. Yeah, yeah, but like you are given a loan and then it's you to figure out on your own how yeah. to later on pay By back saying the money. that uh, we'll be guaranteed to, to, to have a, a job, mm -hmm. it's, it's not true. Because who in the, me, me, let me focus in the cabinet secretary. Who is young there? Should it be the guy in uh, Night Wednesday? Minister of Water. Yeah, the, the dude. How many years ago? 32. But 36. Si ne ni waze wanasema all is gold. So mi nta pata lini yo job. So you try so, no, TikTok. No. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok is a... <laughs> TikTok is a... <laughs> so is a so what, what, what I mean? Yeah. Itakuwa, itanipatia depression. Yes. Because maybe me mm -hmm. me I'm the breadwinner in our family. Mm -hmm. I'm in Kenyatta University, mm -hmm. doing a Bachelor of Arts, uh, film and theater, performing arts. Mm -hmm. So after that I graduate, what else? Mm -hmm. Nikijaribu huko hakuna. Yeah. Na bado I have a burden na fakuripa. Mm -hmm. So that thing like it's 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 it doesn't sound good for me or yeah. for others. You yeah. understand? Mm -hmm. So I don't think uh, after the uh, after the uh, uh, big, big, uh, after graduation, you will you will be offered you will be offered a, a job because uh, Jura in Jura we had a graduation in KU. Mm. 
and when you kiangalia most of the those people they are outside here hakuna kitu wanafanya loitering you understand sasa kila mtu ataingia tap tap yeah it's an open social media for everyone no this this man yamesa <laughs> international but, it, but yeah it's not guaranteed yeah? it's not guaranteed <laughs> this man yamesa international relationship si ndio uh-huh. after that atenda kufanya hiyo hiyo kitu kwa tiktok ama kwa instagram so amesema vijana mjitume yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways when you look at it logically for mm. real yeah you deserve because you can't have had pursued actual science yeah. and for all those more than six years to some even and then you come out here to you know do other things it's like wastage of time wastage of money and then and now you you're in debt crisis yes yeah? so uh, maybe on my own uh-huh. if uh, ningekuwa some of the our parents or, uh, that's according to me uh singe ruhusu wanafunzi waende maybe university because mm-hmm. your person so you uni- opt for a tvet because now uh, the president also passionately talked about tvet maybe that uh-huh. ama if niko like kama mimi ni mwana ni nimemaliza ni, ni shule form 4 mm-hmm. niwekewe biashara zangu niendelee kufanya because nikuja hapa nipige 150000 per mm-hmm. semester si ndio per academic uh-huh. then 150 ingine 150 ingine that's like 600000 Mm. nikuje nikue nikae ningedhe hapo nikae tu hivyo so it, it doesn't make sense si yeye nipatiwe basi nikue muhindi nifanye biashara mm. <laughs> so you'd rather you prefer you prefer like from now on henceforth yeah. parents should focus on not taking their kids to university uh, on my own oh, on your own uh-huh. uh, that, that, that's what I'm, i was thinking that's what you that's what you would suggest if you are to be part of that i'm to end it uh, vocational the training t- t- college t- t- yeah. Yeah. yeah but but also rama i feel like uh, tvets are coming in as an alternative because yesterday the president was trying to defend uh, his model because you guys have said it's his model not your model <laughs> <laughs> he said you know initially the ideology of tvets was like tvets was for failures but now it's like tvets are now a saving grace to those that you know can't afford it to be Um, in, 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 in higher learning institutions like universities and the rest why can't we you know shift the conversation to that side because I, I, i feel like even on that other side there's courses that are cheaper and then it takes you maybe a short amount of time as compared to you being at the university of nairobi you have to go through the stipulated duration as compared to a tvet it's maybe one and a half to two and a half years and then you're out there but then also the question is are you guaranteed yes you have the hands on skill intellectually and let's say pragmatically yeah? are you guaranteed to also get a gig once you're done i think that's the dilemma in between there is no difference between tvet and university mm-hmm. in as much as in, in in a matter of employment yes because in one case we have a student doing a, a quantity survey at at the school of add here in the university of Nairobi. Yeah. and then there's also somebody in tvet doing a survey yeah yes true mm-hmm. this one is doing a, a degree the other one is doing a diploma yeah true mm-hmm. then why are you going after graduation yeah you have the skills yeah uh-huh. you have the knowledge if you don't have the resources to start up a farm mm-hmm. then we have wasted your time mm-hmm. of course we have wasted the resources from your family I think you 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 still become a burden because yeah. one of the things that the reason makes parents to to send their children to school is to relieve themselves from the burden of taking care of you. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine I'm leaving school soon. Yeah. I'm imagining of going back home. Mm. Still going to my mother's house. <laughs> eating what what I run away the food came from, you know, as a man, as a grown-up man, it is sad. Yeah. Yeah. It is totally sad. And to an extent you mentioned Tibet I'll give you an example of those those are ty- it, it was a time when medicine was the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> so when you ask everybody from class 1 to form to form 3 they'll Engineer. tell you I'm going to do medicine. To medicine I'm going yeah. to do engineering. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. Actual science. <laughs> sad. Uh-huh. That the school fees for medicine now in the new funding model is 600,000. That is per academic year. Yeah. Per academic year. And then wow. put those percentages so yeah. as you can imagine between, yeah. somebody in band 5 what mm, he or she is going to four. pay mm. to make the matters worse mm-hmm. leave alone employment mm-hmm. the normal internship they used to get from the ministry is no longer there 
Oh, it's yeah. no gather. Yeah, it was. Uh, you have you have seen you have been seeing our medicine students sleeping outside the Ministry of Health. Yes, 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 yes. Why they have been pushing for internship for two years? So right. there's there's a group of since 2022 there's a group of students have not gone for the internship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a cause that you have not got an internship. Yeah. How sure are you of employment? <laughs> mm. Let me, let me read for you some of the feedback and then you can proceed. Just hold it right there, Rama. There's somebody says, uh, his name is Brav Karis. He says, Heloni Brav from Meru University. He kituwa li letter tia bans ina to affect sana. Uh, sisi ni mafresha ju unapata dom zazi ya mealoketiwa imezidi uwezo. Mm, uh, trying to look for another one that's uh, almost similar to that one. Uh, Benjamin Yaboro, nisema good morning from Nairobi Tetra Park with my beloved wife, Peace Lynette. Okay, representing Ikongoro. I'm trying to look for a comment that's uh, speaking to this conversation. Okay, so, so continue sending it. But yeah, most of them are saying the band has uh, affected them. Uh, Linus Mavo morning, Twist Ngororo morning, Evelyn Bella morning from Nairobi, Jackins Mwangi, good morning. Uh, Willy Bazu, Kitale Birunda, Lokting, watching live from Kitale Birunda. The rest are just good mornings, but thank you so much. Continue sending your feedback. We we'll love it when you send it here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's five, five, nine, the, 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 from Brian here, who says that uh, yeah. does it does it mean that every parent right now cannot afford yeah. to sustain their child in any sort of learning institution? Because also uh, not just students, even the teachers. The teachers, in fact, today was supposed to be a syndicated back to school, but you see, Kupati is pushing on the other side. Not is putting on is pushing on the other side. Uh, uh, JSS teachers, there's still that issue. Uh, the president yesterday said, I think he said he mentioned he hired 56,000 teachers, yeah, but the number should be maybe double more because, like you mentioned, there's institutions that are fully understaffed and they're struggling to even maintain their schedule of basis, day to day basis of learning, yeah. Uh, yeah. I want you to react to that one, yeah. Uh, you know, by saying that uh, mm -hmm. we, are in, we are in a public university. And we, we have a private university, yeah. whereby, regardless of whether you repeat or you repeat, you have maybe, I repeat, but you have Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. The fee of Mount Kenya and the fee of KU is very different because it is public mm -hmm. and uh, private. Yeah. So you can imagine, here you have Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you have a burden because you have to select University kama sita, sindi uka, ukaweko hapo, kakua presidi hapo, MKU. Mm. So you get that, utakuna call off tu, you just call off. You end up unaka six years na ni unakona fakuka, four years. Yeah. Because unakolo, si kupenda, because you don't have money. Mm. So unaona you go outside, you hustle, and then ukuje kujiripia, ukuje kuangezea doza wazazi, ulipe. Mm. Eh. Na ukienda kufanya hivyo miaka pia inaenda, miaka inasonga. So when you are now, maybe when I'm married, when I watch, what are you doing in university, bro? Mm. Yeah. So it's a burden. Yeah. Now, uh, kando na ku na kazi. You understand that? Uh, in youths, and uh, when you are in a university, you go kuchukua knowledge. Maybe you could do employer mo employee. Then maybe this man a kona farm, a piari farm. Uh -huh. Sindio. Akisha hunda, hame hunda that, that farm, mm -hmm. ikuje kuleta job opportunities to others, wenye wamesoma na wama wengine, wakuje kumusedia kufanya kazi, na kufanya wengine, mm -hmm. kufanya wengine kazi. You see that? Oh, yeah. Akisha hafanya, serikali memulika hivi. Mm -hmm. Yenye ingiza, inachukuliwa. Yenye, sasa unapata, akotuna jina, is just a brand. Mm -hmm. So, akuna en, en, No that, profits, no gains. Yeah, no because, yeah. Uh -huh. Una make or kichukua. Na wana chukua mingi than yata yanyu una make. Yeah. It makes me think of what Rama you're saying because <laughs> the IMF, you know, it started off with the IMF bill. There's somebody who did uh, some sort of like, um, I think, a critic. Yeah, I'm, you know, the finance bill is usually an IMF bill. You know, you got, and that it's touching on matters health, uh, education now, which is a very key docket, yeah? yeah. But then uh, when you look at it, I want us to backtrack a little bit to angle the other model. What were the good things in the other model that probably you'd feel if you were to convince uh, the president? Because I don't, I don't know if he's going to go with this one, but people suggested it should have been 
a pilot model. Kidogo too, like, let's test it. I'll maybe let's even take a sample of an institution and see the outcome of it. So what are the good things in the other uh, model? But also, I remember that, that I was in one of the X spaces where the still guys were complaining of the same, same thing. Funding was still an issue even in the other model. So it's, it's a similar problem across board, yeah? Uh, personally, from a computer science perspective, mm -hmm. when designing a program, there's a, there's a stage of program piloting. Okay. So as you do the debugging, call it debugging. So debugging is now looking at the drawbacks mm -hmm. of the program, of the project, before full implementation. Mm -hmm. And that's the question they asked to the president. Why the hurry? Because as you put it, it is a new model. It should have been taken to one institution for simulation. They look on how it's going to work out and the reaction. Mm -hmm. But now, you're waking up in the morning and then the program is implemented. Mm -hmm. And from the tone, the president is not yet ready to accept that the model is not working. To accept that there's a challenge in this program, you know. Mm -hmm. They have to get back to the drawing board and debug the project. Okay, but why the previous model? The previous model, as I said, mm -hmm. as I said, the previous model was as clear as it was. So mm -hmm. as when I come to the university, I don't know any fee structure. Mm -hmm. It is cutting across all the campuses and is standard. Yeah. So as when I'm giving, being given admission later, I'm told, you have been admitted to the University of Nairobi in this course, and this is and the, this fee the going to this yeah. is the fee structure, and this is the bank account for the payment. And that's it, yeah. And that is it. Uh -huh. One thing that remains constant mm -hmm. is either I apply for help or I don't apply for help. Yeah. It is constant. And that's on you, depending on your ability. Yes, yeah. uh -huh. it is constant. The government has already cut out for my school fees. Mm -hmm. It's as sure as that. So as if I'm going to apply for help, mm -hmm. that's just to maintain my upkeep and raise maybe some little money also to top up the school fees. Yeah. But now here we are, everything mm -hmm. is alone. Mm -hmm. Everything is alone. Mm -hmm. then, so it will reach a time, just like the president is bringing in modern slavery. You know, mod, the, tradi <laughs> during those times, in the, during the colonial, colonial and before colonial period, mm -hmm. they used to, to tie people in chains through the, through the, the, the sea, to, other, to the European countries to work as slaves. Uh -huh. We call it slavery. Yeah. That's what you said. I remember, now, I remember the last time we had yes. a conversation with you, you said you don't want opportunities in outside countries. And exactly, you want an that, opportunity here. That's, yeah. that's, the thing, that's the thing now the president is bringing modern slavery. There's okay. no way my parents have taken me to university, I've learned, and then I'm telling my parents now, the government has said the only place I can work German. is to go and work in Germany. <laughs> Yeah. This modern slavery. But there's an opportunity there as others try to scamper and find one. Here. <laughs> Do you know why he's doing that? No, I don't know. Do you know why he increased the tax on remittances? So as you go to Germany, you send your money back, he gets uh -huh. the lion's share. Okay, but you guys canceled the finance bill. And they said it threw them in budgetary disarray. Yeah, so, okay. what a uh, <laughs> let's not have that <laughs> conversation of finance bill. But as from where we stand, uh, we want to state like we are sending this clear message to the president. Mm -hmm. If he wants us to work with the new funding model, mm -hmm. he should scrap off band four and band five. Mm -hmm. They are tyrannical and mm -hmm. punitive to the society. Yeah. A developing country mm -hmm. with an employment rate of 42 percent, mm -hmm. people living in abject poverty, mm -hmm. and then you are saying needy students, like vulnerable students, are only 12 yeah. percent? Sad. Yeah. But then, <coughs> while all this is happening in our faces, yeah? Where is the cabinet secretary education? Do people even remember his, his face, yeah? Because uh, I, I was in one of the X spaces where somebody was saying, do you even know his first name? We are yet to even, we I, I, just I, I, remember him as, as Ogamba, literally. Yeah, while all these decisions are being made, where are the education stakeholders, and specifically now, you know? 
The person is supposed to be leading on the front line, yeah? And then if they'll have to start addressing these issues, where should they start? Should they start from parents, let's sit on board and discuss what you, what you guys are now able to do for your learners, and then you can give us the final verdict, and then we can go work on it and then give you feedback. But in the meantime, let's have your students come on board. Because I remember, I remember one of the ladies here, uh, I've just forgotten her name and her title, since all of them are new faces, because it's also shocking, just the reshuffle trying to adapt to some of them here. <laughs> so, I don't know. They said... Students, you just go to school. I remember her saying that. I think it was in one of the television shows. I was saying, you go to school. Uh, in fact, the, uh, everything else they're going to take care in between, yeah? I think it was during the adjustment of your new uh, vice chancellor. Okay. Yeah. So w what, do you, what do you think about that? Uh, actually, personally, even me, I don't know his name. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I just know the Ogamba, and he come from Kisi, just like that. And mm. he's a lawyer. So, a lawyer na a scholar na education na yendani vizuri. You understand? Mm -hmm. We have so many people wanye ni scholars wa mesoma they are, they wange peo yu, yu sector. But now you see those, those, uh, those CS, their work is to praise Mr. President. Imagine mwenye nganyo wakazi like ume simamishu wakazi. Badaro usifie useme shukran to Kenyans when you find your cars, when I'm going to president. So, you will come to find your cars and money. Sis, you understand? Yeah, so, in a I make sense, it doesn't make sense because you see, yeah, when you are a kind of CC, that minister, because uh, there's nothing we, he will share with us. Mm -hmm. So, what I was thinking before, uh, they do the that uh, new funding model. They should sit. Uh, they should have a dialogue, maybe with uh, the students, the current students. Yeah. After that, now the current students they will take the information to the, to, to parents because I come from Nyamira. You understand? Nzazwangu is talking Nyamira. We have a meeting with the, uh, the minister or the president. Mm -hmm. So, ni akai na education wanyo me, those people wanyo me si mami education, mm -hmm. na their current students. And then mm -hmm. they, they should have their dialogue because si si ndo tunasoma, and si si ndo tu, we know the burden yanyo, the, those uh, parents at, back at home wanapitia. My, my parents, ni wachuna chai, wanachuna majani chai, wanaongojia bonus. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. So, bonus ina wakata, wananipatia kidogo ni ente campus, so that you could sustain our, our uh, back at home, our family. And you get that the, the system of education in Ataka Kutufinya and it won't work a system of uh, getting that knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Rama, you're echoing that education is now expensive, too damn expensive, and probably from now on henceforth, uh, people would, 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 would not consider education as a priority because it's too expensive for them to afford, especially those who come from marginalized communities. And you, you mentioned, you said, is it be below the poverty line? <laughs> yeah, yeah you, know, you know, one thing we're being told when we were from primary to high school, those, yeah. that phrase they normally use to say, mm -hmm. education is a social equalizer. Mm. So as from my background, I can get a chance to sit in the same institution, same class, with the daughter of the president, yeah. with the son of the deputy president. Yes. But now, the narrative is turning upside down. Mm -hmm. It's no longer a social equalizer. Mm -hmm. Because now, education is becoming a reserve for the rich. Yeah. And then, we are in capitalist society. So if education remains a reserve for the rich, then it means Mm -hmm. The gap between the rich mm -hmm. and the poor is widening. Widen. It's, too, yeah, it's, it's clearly big. widening. Okay. And then there's French scholar who says, immediately the gap widens, then there will be a form of revolution. That's yeah. Max Weber. Mm -hmm. Max Weber says, middle the, 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 in the capitalist society, when the gap between the rich and the poor widens, mm -hmm. the poor now believes that we are poor because these rich people have taken up our opportunities. Mm -hmm. And it is true. Yeah. They're now taking education away from us. Mm 
Mm. Every day, they're taking money away from us. Mm. We have a scandal of 1.1 billion of supply of uh, cotton oil. Mm -hmm. Of course, somebody sent an email and was given a, a tender. I saw that saga. You, you know. saw that. Mm -hmm. And they always make sure we have a scandal every day for dinner. We <laughs> appreciate. Okay. So, one thing is coming <laughs> out that the government is mm. systematically declaring education as a resource for the rich. Yeah. And for us, mm -hmm. before we wait for the revolution of the mm -hmm. poor, so as we feel we're now surprised to the wall and cannot do anything, mm -hmm. the revolution will start now before we get onto the wall. Yeah. What yes. is the worst that can happen if they temporarily implement the model? Because, of course, it's the president. He makes decisions. Sometimes. He can independently make decisions. But for a ministry like education, it's a, and even health, they're very intense ministries that are too engaging because they need voice. In fact, there's people who said, please, can we have public participation even for a quarter a day first before you make the final decision? Yeah? What is the worst outcome if they temporarily do this? Let's say for, for the remaining part, because uh, a semester goes for four months, yeah? Okay. What, could, what could happen? Let me give you the two scenarios. Mm -hmm. First scenario, the president brought the housing levy <laughs> at 5%. They did public participation around the country, even the, in the chambers of the parliament. People yeah. said no. Yeah. He still went ahead to implement it and now said, I've lowered to 1.5. Mm. But we said no. We didn't say lower. We said no. Second scenario, <laughs> yeah. the finance bill. Mm -hmm. They brought it. People were heckling about it. Nobody wants to hear anything about it. But from what he says, yeah. from what he's currently saying, I'll, I'll go and tell the members of parliament to pass the, the, the bill. Mm -hmm. And it happened. Mm. They passed the bill. After all the rejection, yeah. we had to lose lives mm. for him to understand that that thing is not going, we are not accepting it. Mm. It's not ours. Uh -huh. Now we are saying the new fund funding model is not working for us. Mm -hmm. I've mentioned the instances we have, we have been having a dialogue with the, uh, with the Minister of Education and the stakeholders, the, mm. the university fund and the help. We are having the discussion about that four yeah. times yeah. on the discussion table. Yeah. At this end, we are assuming next week, mm. 2nd September. <laughs> and we want to send a clear message to the president. Yeah, in, in we 10 have seconds, because time is up. Yes, we have talked. Uh -huh. We have talked enough. Yeah. From 2nd September, mm. we will occupy everywhere. Mm. Okay. So as if it means losing blood, it means losing lives, we shall lose lives to protect the future generation. So as they also have access to education, like he had access to education. Okay, uh, it's exactly 9.59, so uh, we can't continue further. What is your social media? Just one. Yeah. You're active on. Juma and Agunwa in all social media. Uh -huh. yeah, and we, we, as the comrades, mm -hmm. we, uh, we are bringing another something called Unifem Awards uh -huh. that we connect, bring together different university students, and we celebrate them, their mm -hmm. achievements. Yeah, that is at KU. It uh, when be, is it happening? It will be happening at JQuart, date mm -hmm. 18th. Date 18th, so we are out of time. So ensure that you follow up with uh, Mr. Juma Nagunwa. Huh? Your social media, they're on your active one? Rama Juma, Twitter, uh -huh. Facebook. All right, thank you so much. I wish you had more time, we'd have continued, but it's already 10 a.m. And we appreciate you as well for watching from exactly 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. We'll see you tomorrow bright and early right here on Wine the Morning. See you tomorrow.